In January 2024, I made just $192.86 with my online business, but fast forward six months and in July 2024, I cleared over 10 grand in profit. Even repeating that now, I can't quite comprehend how exponential that growth has been. But the reason I say this is to put into perspective how quickly you can start making 10 grand a month, even if you are making no money right now. Of course, I don't have anywhere near the wealth some of these other online entrepreneurs have, nor do I deserve it right now. But I make this video for people like me back in 2023 that were watching videos and trying every single day to make money online, but haven't seemed to make any substantial amount yet. In the hopes that you find my journey and advice more relatable since I was in your shoes literally six months ago. So these are the steps I took to go from zero to $10,000 a month in 2024. I'm going to break down these steps in chronological order of when I approached them along my path. Starting with the most important question I had to ask myself, do I really want it? You see, anyone is capable of becoming rich. I can guarantee there is probably someone from a more disadvantaged background than you that has become a millionaire and potentially a billionaire. The separating factors are not your IQ or your environment. It is your belief and your work ethic. How badly do you really want it? Because I see a lot of people saying they want to be rich, but they are still out partying, drinking alcohol and taking drugs. Now, I'm not saying that me avoiding those activities made me rich, but I will say this, the prospect of me knuckling down and focusing on my online business appealed to me far more than any drugs, alcohol or parties could do. In fact, it got to a point where I would rather go home and focus on my online business to make money than go out to play football or other fun activities. The best chance you have of becoming rich is being someone that genuinely finds what they do fun. They want to go home and work on their business every single day because that's where they get their fulfillment. If you genuinely want to be rich but every time you try to watch a video on copywriting or try to test out your copywriting skills, you find it a chore, there's a good chance you won't be able to do enough work in that subject or at a high enough quality to ever become rich from it. So please ask yourself this, do you really enjoy what you are doing and do you really want to become rich from it? Because the difference between being half invested or fully invested can really alter your outcome and lead you to riches. The second thing I started doing and stay with me here because it's a little bit counterintuitive is I started focusing on building skills rather than building income. There is a reason I address this video to 16 to 24 year olds. We have the greatest asset on this planet time. Please, if you take away just one thing from this video, make it be it. There are billionaires in this world, age 70, 80, 90, and I can guarantee that they would give up pretty much every single penny they have got to be the same age as us because they understand that time is wealth and it is your biggest asset. So use that time to build up a character and a skill set. Those of you that have been around the channel before may know that I first started making money online in 2022, growing faceless TikTok theme pages. I had multiple accounts get monetized and my most successful ever account reached five 500,000 followers in just six months. Life was good, I was making money online as a teenager, but then the worst possible thing happened. TikTok went on a banning spree and most of my successful pages got banned and my income stream went to zero overnight. To go from a teenager that was comfortably making four figures every single month to zero in literally a day is heartbreaking and borderline depressing. I still remember how I felt that day when I lost everything, but there's one thing I didn't lose, my skill set. I utilized my knowledge on social media and TikTok to build those theme pages to create new ones and get monetized and then coupled that up with public speaking skills on YouTube to build up a YouTube audience as well. So I turned a negative into a positive. I turned my TikTok knowledge into a monetizable asset that I can give away to my audience so my viewers have the same skills as well. You see, the skills make you money. So focus on the skill set, not the cash. If you have valuable high income skills, you will get money. And most importantly, if you lose that money, you can make it right back. It's got to the point now where hand on heart genuinely, I don't want to win the lottery or get a crypto pump because it's just empty cash. The money is not important. It is the person you become to get there. Coincidentally, this feeds perfectly into the next step, which is what I call the reinvestment strategy. So as I mentioned, when you're starting from scratch, you need to start building your skill set. So you have broad skills and you have niche specific skills. The broad skills are things like sales, marketing, confidence, people skills, but the niche specific skills depend on the business line you want to go in. Whether you want to learn copywriting, video editing, content creation, that's completely up to you. You should be spending time on both areas to build up yourself as a character and in your particular business line. You should be focusing on both skill sets. Fortunately, YouTube has an abundance of free material so you can learn this, but that's not the only way. You can reach out to mentors so they can personally teach you, purchase online courses, 
or even read books like I love to do. And then once you start making money with your initial skill set, you've got to be smart about how you reinvest it. In my opinion, the best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. I already explained how building up a skill set can lead to more money. Well, now let's expand that cycle. What if you spend that money to build up a new skill set or develop your pre existing skill set to make even more money and then repeat those steps? So rather than lobbing five grand into the SP 500, why not spend that money to get a real estate mentor so you can unlock a brand new wealth creation method? And by the way, reinvesting in yourself doesn't necessarily mean from a skill set point of view. You can spend that money on new experiences, on a better gym membership, better quality food, a nicer looking suit, or luxury watches. Imagine it so it's kind of like a video game where you are the character that you are upgrading. It may sound a little illogical at first to get a little bit of money and spend it on a really nice suit but the way you dress and present yourself can directly correlate to the type of network that you can gain and that can lead to even more money made. I'm not saying I like the way the world is but people treat you differently if you wear a more expensive suit or more expensive watch and drive a nicer car. It's just the way it is. Oh and also don't get me wrong I'm not saying to neglect your ordinary investments. I still invest thousands every single month into the stock market but I do invest a hell of a lot more money into myself. The fourth step is taking opportunities and moving fast. When I started to find success posting content on TikTok what I started doing was doubling down on content that was working and purely outposting my competition being relentless. Similarly with this YouTube channel when I found a niche that worked I started ramping up my content by working even harder to get quality videos out. I'm posting multiple times a week when my competitors post only once. This directly correlated to me jumping up the profit numbers every every single month consistently and quickly. If you try long enough, eventually something will work and when it does, attack it relentlessly. Imagine you are sitting in a room with a button and at a random point in the day, that button will flash red and you then have 30 seconds to hit that button and every time you press it, you will get $1. Be honest with me, are you gonna sit there and slowly hit that button or are you gonna mash it as fast as you can in those 30 seconds to make as much money as possible? Of course you are going to hit it as fast as you can. Now imagine this with your own side hustles. In this world, opportunities do not last forever so when they come about you've got to take advantage and the fifth step is one I'm experiencing right now and ever since I started making $10,000 a month online and that is chasing more when I made my 2024 new year's resolution it was to make at least $10,000 a month in just one month that year and if I did that in my head I would be happy and complete and it would be a successful year well having made $10,000 a month in consecutive months now to be completely honest nothing has really changed sadly I don't really feel any more complete or accomplished. If anything, I feel even more hungry to succeed more because now I've got money to lose. Complacency is a killer. If we apply it to sports, there are certain athletes that at one point in their life were the best player in the world, but they will not necessarily go down as the GOAT. The GOATs are the GOATs because they have been the greatest, not just for a season, but for decades. Understand that having goals of $1,000 a month, $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month are great, but they are just stepping stones and you need to keep achieving and finding new challenges to mark yourself against. So of course, Course, celebrate it, have fun, treat yourself. But as Kobe Bryant said, the job's not finished. Also remember to never ever give up. There will be tough moments where you feel like quitting. I've had it myself when my most successful ever TikTok pages got banned. But every time you bounce back from a defeat, you are one step closer to success. And when you do it from defeat, you feel even more sweet about it. And do not forget that I am rooting for you. You can subscribe down below and hit the bell notification button to receive up to date videos on how you can make money online delivered straight to your inbox. And check out the video right beside me as it's a presentation breakdown on how I made $10,000 a month whilst being a full-time student. I'll see you right there.